for Ian. Many in our area are getting ready to help out. One nonprofit organization in Shelby County is ready to go. Yeah, WVTM 13's Lisa Crane spent some time there with uh, folks and volunteers at uh, Hatching Hope. And Lisa, uh, really across the state, they are lending a hand to help evacuees. Yeah, they really are. These folks here are ready to go. They have this van stocked and it is ready. They say they're probably going to wait until next week, though, to head down. They want to make sure that all the roads are clear and that they can easily access the warehouse they've already secured in the Tampa area that's going to hold all these supplies until they can distribute them. Right now, it's a waiting game for volunteers and staff at Hatching Hope Disaster Relief. The nonprofit group has a warehouse full of supplies ready to go as Ian approaches the Sunshine State. We've got it on go, ready to go. So as soon as it makes lands, landfall and we can get um, can get in properly and can uh, get distribution set up, we will be distributing. Ian will be the eighth hurricane Hatching Hope has responded to since the organization was founded in 2016. It'll be Jessica's sixth deployment. The one thing that always resonates with me is a sense of community in the area. Um, everyone just really comes together to help each other. It's definitely neighbor helping neighbor in times of need. And it's so incredible to see and so rewarding to see. Um, but obviously it's when people are dealing with probably the most tragic times of their lives. So it is bittersweet. Hatching Hope focuses on the long term needs in communities recovering from disasters. And so we'll continue to serve, you know, the victims of Hurricane Ian, you know, well until essentially people forget. So um, we don't. We're proud of that. So volunteers could be helping victims in Florida for many months, maybe even a year or more, depending on how hard Ian hits. We are a just a small organization that does what we can. Um, we really just are there to help and to bring hope and light to people that have been through such dark times. Now Jessica says they are closely watching all the weather reports to see just how much mayhem Ian can dish out in Florida. Of course, they always hope for the best that it won't be nearly as bad as what's been predicted, but is their mission to prepare for the absolute worst case scenario? And they say they are ready for that. In Pelham, Lisa Crane, WVTM 13.